go to Google and type App Inventor. Click MIT App Inventor and you will get to the App Inventor homepage. Click Create Apps. You can either create a new account or you can use your existing Google account to sign in. Accept the terms of service here. You can start a new project here or here or here. Give the project a name. And you can start coding right away. You can also log on anonymously and without a Google account by going to code.appinventor.mit.edu. This is the designer screen. You can design what your app looks like here. On the left, under the palette column, you can choose the components for your app. Here are user interface components. I can add a button or an image or a label or a slider. On the layout, you can choose containers to arrange your components in different ways. In media, I can add media components such as a camera. Notice that this is a non-visible component. You can't see it on your screen, but you can use it as part of the functions of your app. You can have sound or player, etc. I'll add a text to speech, which speaks out the text you've given to it. It's also a non-visible component. Let me delete the camera. There are drawing and animation components. Here you have map components. I can add a map and make it bigger by changing its height and width. I can drop markers at different places on the map. So this is the map. You have different sensors. I can add an accelerometer sensor, which senses the shaking motion. There's a gyroscope, a clock, location sensor, and even a thermometer and a pedometer. You have different social components. And you can store data on the cloud or on your phone using the databases here. Now, there are three components in my app. They are listed here. I'm going to change how it looks. I'm going to change the text to a question mark, the height to 100 pixels, width to 100 pixels. I'm going to change the font size to 50. I'm going to change the background color to orange, and I'm going to center my button. I'm going to make a dice app. This is what it's going to look like. Click the button on the top right corner to go to the blocks editor. The blocks editor is where we give components instructions. This is where coding happens. You have a list of built-in blocks. In control, you have conditional statements. You have for loops and even a while loop. You have logic blocks. You have mathematical operators. You have text methods, lists, dictionaries, colors, variables, and procedures. These are general blocks. Here, under each component name, you have specific component blocks. For my button, I can have a click event or a long click event. I'm going to say when my button one is clicked, I'm going to set button one's text to a random integer between one and six. I'm going to ask my text to speech to speak out the number. I'm gonna get the text on my button and ask it to speak out. And I want to roll the dice by shaking the phone. 
So when accelerometer sensor detects shaking, I can do the same. I have now created a simple dice app. App Inventor automatically saves my app, so there is no need to click save. It's saved automatically. Now we are ready to test the app. We need to download App Inventor Companion app to test and build. We could go to the Google Play Store, search for MIT App Inventor, and install it from there. Now the companion app is ready. For iOS, go to the App Store, search for MIT App Inventor, download it, and open it. The companion app will be ready after the splash screens. App Inventor has a function that allows live testing, so you can test as you code. Let's try it. But firstly, you need to make sure your computer and your device are on the same Wi-Fi network. Click Connect. Select AI Companion. It will bring you a QR code. You can scan and connect. Press Scan QR Code on the Companion app. Scan it. You may have to wait a while for it to load. Three, now the app is ready. Six, three, three, two. Once you are done, you can install your app on your phone. You can do this by building. It creates an app that functions independently. You can even publish it on Google Play Store or ask your friends to download it. Go to Build, select Android app. It takes a while to generate. Now the QR code is ready. I can use my App Inventor Companion to scan and build. Currently, only Android phones can build apps. Press Scan QR Code on the Companion app. Scan it. The file will download. Open the downloaded file and install. The Android device asks you a lot of questions. You need to be quite insistent in installing. Once it's installed, open it. One, two, one, three, the app two. is ready. App Inventor uses AIA files. You can export your project as an AIA file to share with other App Inventor users. To export, go to Projects. Export selected AIA to my computer. This will download an AIA file to my computer. If I want to import an AIA file from my computer, I go to Project, Import Project from my computer. I choose my AIA file. I choose this draw something. I click OK. And my project is already here.